everybody, how's it going? Welcome to the very first episode of Fasted Workouts. This is a new segment, pretty much self-explanatory, showing you how I work out, how I exercise in a fasted state. In this particular series, I will not be talking about weight on the scale or the numbers that kind of go up and down. I will leave those episodes for breakfast, but it's also so I can start to transition away from obsessing over the scale because this is going to be a series about how I will try to continually lose excess body fat while trying to gain muscle or keeping, I guess, the muscle I have or just trying to transform or recomposition my physique. And this is all going to come from a perspective of a rookie. I, I'm putting this out there because I've lost 85 pounds and when I was at my heaviest, I wasn't very active. I haven't been completely active really in my life. I usually led a very sedentary life. And when it came to athletics, either in grade school or high school, I wasn't the best at them. I am not the most coordinated and it's just who I am. So what you are gonna see is me trying to record myself working out and um, for me, it's a very self-conscious thing. I'm very self-conscious about it. I feel like in a lot of respects, I don't know what I'm doing, but this is the learning process. I figured I'm transparent already showing you what I eat, how I eat. I might as well show you the other side of things when it comes to working out. I haven't figured out the exact formula of how I wanna make these videos, so, we're going to do it piecemeal here and just I'll show you the progress and hopefully down the road as this series continues, it will show you the things I've done, the mistakes that I'm doing when I'm trying to work out and how I'm trying to correct that. When I first started losing weight, when I was uh, extended fasting, I really wasn't working out much. Uh, fasting in extended periods of time at the beginning was very difficult for me. I was very weak. I didn't want to do anything because I just... I was still trying to get over the fact that I was fasting for longer periods, but as time progressed, the fasting got easier. I noticed that I could go for a walk or I could go to the gym and uh, that started to become a regular thing. So I know a lot of people ask about my uh, exercise routine and at one point I was going to the gym lifting weights. I don't know how well I was lifting weights, but I was going four or five, sometimes six times a week. And uh, at the same time, I would also go for walks. But when this pandemic hit since mid-March, I have been doing nothing but walking six times a week for about three and a half to four miles a day. And I, I am still continuing to do that. Walking isn't the most, you know, high intensity kind of workouts, but I actually walk for an hour a day because for me, at least, it's easy, it's exercise, but it also helps me clear my head. It makes me think about what I have planned for the day. It's just nice to sometimes get out and get some air, especially being indoors all the time. So you will see me talking about going for walks, and I will give you kind of the stats on that, but I... I don't really think I'm going to be recording myself walking because for the most part, we all walk at our own pace. I walk at a very leisurely pace. I am not trying to win any races. I'm not trying to burn a ton of calories. It's just me doing my daily walk, trying to clear my head. And again, it's just something that I enjoy doing. All right, so let's get into this. When I finished my 65 hour fast, I refed and then I immediately began doing another 65 hour fast. But in between those times, I work out. And so here you will see the whole workout process and you'll see me now trying to do new things because now that I have shifted from a 90 hour fast to a 65 hour fast and I'm you know, eating an extra day out of the week. So instead of only eating two times a week, now I'm eating three times a week. I want to start incorporating you know, more workouts here. And I, I should also put this out there. I don't think all these workouts are gonna be super intense or anything like that. This is me trying to learn like my form, trying to uh, do different things, trying to work on different body parts that I haven't worked out before, or at least 
in a long time. This is going to be the first time I've ever shown anyone working out or filming myself working out. And uh, it is a little nerve wracking for me, but I, I feel like it's a it's a new challenge. It's a new series. So why not? So uh, on the 25th of June, uh, hour 10 of being in a fasted state, I went for a four mile walk. Uh, typical walk for me, nothing new. Uh, that walk lasted for uh, a little over four miles and at about an hour and 10 ish minutes. And then on the 26th of June, I, it, it rained actually the entire day, so I wasn't able to walk, and I thought it was the perfect time to start doing something different. And I have mentioned before that I had started incorporating push ups into my workout routine, but it wasn't anything drastic. Sometimes they'd be like between five and 10 push ups a day, just trying to get the form right. And I still don't know if I have that form like completely proper but yesterday because I couldn't walk four miles and I wanted to get some exercise in I did 50 push-ups and I didn't do them consecutively they were in groups of five or groups of ten and it took quite a bit of time to do it I don't know how long it took but I will tell you today I am sore like my whole upper chest is sore and actually uh, I feel like my upper back as well and then I actually had a a jump rope come in. I have not jumped rope, I don't know, since middle school, since high school. I don't really remember the last time I jumped rope. Yeah, I tried to jump rope and I did it in uh, a garage because again, it was raining the whole day. And I was all over the place when I was jumping rope. I I didn't know what I was, I mean, obviously you, you jump over the rope. And uh, I thought it was just as simple as that. And I actually filmed myself doing it. I sent the clip to my buddy and he kind of gave me a, a couple quick pointers and that's helped uh, so far. And so the one thing that he told me is to keep my feet closer together, keep, I guess, my elbows uh, more in, I guess, and then just like make I think it's more with the wrists than anything else and not jump as high to kind of preserve my energy. And that kind of helped. That's all well and good. But sometimes when you're in the act of doing it, it's still hard to do. And I feel like as days go on. So what I'm going to try to do is try to give myself. I, I think I put like four or five minutes of jump roping in at the beginning and I was gassed. I was so tired just doing that. And I realized that this is going to be a pretty good workout if uh, I can start doing this consistently. I just imagine myself starting off as a rookie, as an amateur, like not knowing how to really jump rope in a consistent, like rhythmic matter, uh, manner. But um, I feel like as days go by, the more I do it, I think the better I'll get at it. And then as far as today, uh, it was nice today, it didn't rain, so I did another four mile walk and this was uh, being fasted at 58 hours, I believe. So at 58 hours, I went for a four mile walk and then uh, afterwards, almost not immediately right after, but around hour 60 of fasting, I went to jump rope again. Um, I tried to, I told myself I would give myself 10 minutes of jumping rope and I mean, I feel like that's kind of, I should have put a timer on, but I, I still can't get that rhythm down. I'm still having a hard time uh, jumping rope. But as I do it daily, again, hopefully that will become a more natural thing for me. It was sunny out and I was dripping in sweat doing that. Uh, on top of that, I tried to do lunges. So this is another exercise that I have really never done before. I watched a quick YouTube video on it. They said to kind of stand at hip width and then one foot forward, go down at a 90 degree angle. I don't know. This is just me trying. And I, I went down until I felt like a stretch on my uh, on my thigh. And then I just did it. And it actually, I was getting tired doing that as well. It was just a lot of lower body work. Uh, if you factor in the four mile walk me jumping rope or skipping rope for about 10 minutes and then doing lunges. Um, I didn't, I don't even know how many I did. I just did it until I was getting tired and then that was it. That is the scope of my workout for this uh, 65 hour fast because I'm about to break my next 65 hour fast today. I'm doing, this will be uh, 
now, you know, two back-to-back 65s. And then, um, you know, tomorrow I should have an episode of Breakfast to kind of talk about my weight and where my head is at with that. But this is just, again, I don't really know where, how the series is going to go. I just want to give you my feelings on what I'm doing. Um, you know, I know when I had that jump rope today, actually I was having issues because it felt like it kept getting tangled up. I don't know. I might have to cut the rope a little bit shorter. I'm not really sure, but I think that's it. I'm just going to leave it at that. Because it was kind of this, I know this feels kind of all over the place and I apologize for that. I just wanted to share this part of my journey because I feel like it's just as important as uh, the whole part of fasting. Fasting is an important part. Working out, I feel for me at least, is important. And I want to share that journey with you as well. So you can see how, you know, I've lost all this weight with very minimal um exercise I I say minimal for me because like I don't go all out and I think you will see that there I am not an athlete I am not like lifting crazy heavy weights or anything like that um you know I think on my last episode of breakfast I talked about how I was contemplating going back to the gym and I decided that I would uh pause on that and just learn how to do body weight exercises, learn how to get form down. There's so much you can do when it comes to working out that you don't have to go to the gym for. And I feel like somebody like me who's just really starting, who's learning about working out different body parts, I think this is a good way for me to learn form and um, work on my physique at home and see where that goes. Anyway, uh, I feel like I talked way too much here. But we'll leave that as the first episode for uh, fasted workouts or working out fasted or whatever I want to call it. We'll see when I edit this video. But until the next one, guys, I will see you soon. Have a good one. Take it easy.